Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is for January 2019. Happy New Year! This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Sagittarius. Now this is not a reading if you are in a happily ever after relationship. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. This reading is for somebody who needs it, who really, really needs it. Okay? Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. I just put lotion on my hands, so. What does Sagittarius need to know? Hmm. You guys are grieving something. You're grieving some sort of loss. You are. We have the Three of Cups basically twice reversed. I mean, this is the Five of Cups, but we get the Three of Cups here reversed. The Three of Cups here. This is a loss. You're grieving when there's another opportunity. There's an opportunity that you may not be seeing. And you've got to break free. we got these two tens reversed. You have to break free. You have to liberate yourself. You're in an unstable situation. It's insecure. It's unstable. There's family feuds. There's fighting. And there's a lack of progress being made. And I'm sorry to start a reading out like this, but you can't, you can't pretty up these five cards. You cannot. You can't. Other than this, this right here, there's another opportunity. There is another opportunity, and things are going to get better. Things are absolutely going to get better. But it looks like you may have to move for things to get better. You may have to make a, a serious move. This card's going to go down here. You guys, you know, because this is like moving home, moving location. Because wherever you're at, it's not stable. There's fighting going on. There's family feuds or there's feuds at work, whatever this, however this pertains to you. It's like there's nothing to celebrate here. You're not feeling like you're receiving anything in, re in return, right? But you have to hold your head up high and move in a new direction. But it, it looks like you may not have the confidence to do so. You may be staying in a home or staying in a work situation because you think it's stable. But it's really detrimental. It's not. It's not. It's painful to stay there wherever you're at. It's painful. You do have a better opportunity. But you're so focused on the loss. I mean, I can't. I can't say that you're not you know focused on the hurt for focused on the betrayal look at this as a time to begin again because there's a cycle completing here with these two tens there is a cycle that's completing it needs to complete but you need to find the confidence to, to take some sort of action you need to make a decision. You have to choose. You have to make a choice, and it's up to you. It's in your hands. The choice is in your hands. You want to stay in this situation that's not stable and secure? Do you? Do you I mean, there's a lack of abundance here, but you have an opportunity for something better. If you could just stop focusing on the pain and the hurt and what is bringing you no reward, you got to stop focusing on that. You have a better opportunity for something much, much more emotionally fulfilling. Oh, yes, you do. Now you got the two of cups twice, okay? You do. You got the two of cups twice. You have an opportunity for a partnership here to partner up with somebody that it will be a lot more emotionally fulfilling. Companionship. But you gotta you gotta liberate yourself first from the pain. Whatever that pain is. You have to make the choice. You have to choose. You and this is the choice, okay? You can. This is your choice. You have to make the choice. You can choose to focus on the pain and the hurt, or you can choose to focus on the two of cups. What's it going to be? Your choice. Nobody else's. Only yours. You have an opportunity to choose a different option. You have options. Choose a different option. But you may not believe, you may not believe in yourself, you may not be listening to anybody. 
or anything. You may not even be listening to your inner guides. Like there's a lack of faith, a lack of trust, a lack of belief. If you don't have faith in yourself, if you don't believe in yourself, well, you know, then you're then you're not going to get any reward. There's going to be nothing to celebrate. It starts from within. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith in yourself. You need to start listening to your inner guide. Now, you may be staying in a situation because you're committed and you're afraid to get a divorce. You're afraid to lose money. When you have a better option for happiness, that's a wrong choice. That's that you have op that's a wrong choice. Staying for just the money. You'll live with the con the card of consequences. The seven of cups is right in the middle of your reading. It's main energy here. Consequences for the decisions that you make. If you choose to stay in a situation that is unhealthy, unstable, insecure, then you have to live with those consequences. You won't receive a reward. A loving reward, which you have uh, uh, able to you. I mean, uh, you have an opportunity for a soulful or fulfilling or emotionally content partnership here. Something that will really fulfill you emotionally. But in order to receive this new partnership or whatever it is, you're going to have to step over some finish line. You have to complete one cycle. Completion, completion, completion. This is the last card in the deck. You have, you're gonna, lesson needs to be learned, and that lesson has to do with yourself. Following, believe, following your own path, believing in yourself. Making better choices. Somebody hasn't made the right choice, and a lesson is being learned. Absolutely a lesson is being learned. There's been no progress wherever you're at. And there's definitely a lack of confidence in yourself. So I'm, I'm not trying to bring anybody down, but I'm telling you, you need to pick yourself up. This is an opportunity for victory and success. But it's, okay, okay. So this is a card of victory and success. It's reversed. This is a card of choices. It's reversed. And this is a card of victory and success, upright. You choose whether you're going to be victorious or not. If you choose to stay wherever you're at and you don't move forward, well, then there's not going to be any victory and success. You have to choose another option. That's all there is to it. You have to choose another option. Whatever it is, there's another option that needs to be picked. You need to Now, there's a lesson being learned here. A major lesson is being learned about, maybe it's even self-betrayal. Maybe you've just been hurting yourself. Who knows? But it, it's time. It's time for you to start in a new direction. To complete this chapter. Complete this phase of your life. So yeah, you have a big completion here. But you have to make some sort of choice. Maybe you need to make a choice to get divorced. Or end a commitment. Because there's too much hurt. There's too much pain. There's too much... Whatever it is, betrayal. You know? Ooh. There's fears of the unknown here. You have this fear of the unknown. This, this, uh, you know, what's hidden here? There are some hidden forces here. But it looks as though what has been hidden is coming to the surface. It's coming to the surface. And you probably won't be able to deny it. You probably won't be able to deny this change that is about to happen. I feel like you guys are about to complete one phase in your life. That A phase that has been very... dissatisfying okay you guys have been in a dissatisfying cycle of your life and it feels like you have an opportunity to move because I do see moving here like move in a new direction towards towards a deep connection something more fulfilling so you do have an opportunity for 
I think this is a new partnership because this is a new beginning with a partnership after you stop co concentrating on some sort of loss. So you have an opportunity for a new partnership, but you're not emotionally available, right? It's like you're not, you maybe you you you're just not emotionally available. You know, maybe you don't not feeling like you have it in you right now. Maybe you don't feel like you. You don't have any, you're not following your dreams. You're not listening to your intuition. There's not a lot of playfulness. <laughs> you know, it's, it's time for you to receive. You deserve to receive. This is about give and take. You have to, maybe maybe it's time for you to give. Maybe it's time to give to yourself. Maybe it's time to bring some balance back to your life. It's like everybody wants, everybody wants, everybody wants. And it's like, you don't, you're, you're like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any more to give. Look at everybody's got their hand out. Everybody's got their hand out, and you're like, if I give much more, I'm, I'm going to be a lack here. It's like you don't have any more to give. That's what I see. Therefore, I think you've shut yourself off emotionally when you have a help, somebody that really could help you. <clears throat> but there's an awful lot of pain here. There's grieving going on. There's some sort of grieving of a loss. Sadness, heartache, pain. You're allowing some sort of pain, internal pain, to hold you back from, from love. Something more fulfilling. You are, you're not healed yet. You're not healed from something. You're still bleeding. You're feeling at a complete loss when you have an opportunity to move in a new direction. But it's like you don't have the desire. I think I think you guys are shutting yourself down emotionally because of the pain that you have been put through, perhaps over the last year or whatever the case is. There is some definitely some grieving here. There's some there's some there's definitely some sadness. Maybe there's been a partnership that is ending, you know, and you're afraid. You're afraid that you'll never receive again. Well, there's something going on behind the scenes that you can't see. Everything happens for a reason. Cycles end so new ones can begin. So you do have a new cycle that is going to begin. But you're going to have to come out of your shell. You're going to have to open up your heart. You're going to have to uh, come out of the darkness that you've been in. It's all up to you. You have to take those steps. Nobody's really going to come in and pull you out. You have, to, you have to step out. You have to step out of that darkness. You have to follow your own light. You have to believe in yourself. And I can see that there's lack of, lack of believing in oneself. There is. There's a lack of awareness here, which I know that you're very aware. I do know that you're very aware. You're very spiritual because these are both like a Jesus consciousness, but they're both reversed. Dig deep to find it. It's in there. You know what you need to do. You do know what you need to do. It feels as though you guys have been isolating yourselves from the out from the world, from 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 something. You've been isolating yourself from part, perhaps maybe you've been pushing away love. Pushing away a partnership because you just don't have anything to give. You're afraid you're not going to receive. Oh my goodness, there's a lack of self-worth here. And you're still feeling some sort of pain that needs to end. You need, you know, you have to uh, accept the pain. That, and I know that's hard. And a lot, and I'm not saying that you don't accept the pain. But instead of burying the pain in addictions or burying the pain and not dealing with the pain and just uh, all it's going to do is get worse and worse and worse. This is the Empress receives a reward 
for dealing with pain, she does. But this is reverse. It's like I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. And this is a, this is a woman, or well, it's a woman. The Empress is a woman who chases opportunities, and she doesn't know her worth. The right opportunities chase her when she's in the upright. She knows what she's worth. She doesn't. She doesn't back down. She's worthy. She's abundant. But there's a lack of abundance. There's a lack of... You don't know your worth. You don't know your beauty. You don't know your worth. You're allowing somebody to bring you down by not dealing with something. And you may be chasing people. You know, if you chase opportunities, you're bound to get hurt. You are bound to get hurt. To get what you deserve... You know, you, you, you won't get what you deserve if you're doing all the giving. You have to, this woman, <laughs> oh my goodness, this woman, she doesn't know what she's worth. So she gets, she gets herself involved with people that are unworthy because she chased them. You know, she doesn't want to be alone. She's smothering. She's selfish, you know, and then, therefore she gets herself into situations that are, never going to go in any positive direction because she she didn't know what she was where she chased she chased she's a chaser this woman is a chaser and when you chase every the other people run they run i mean what what happens when you're doing a chase the other person is running so you know it looks as though we have a woman here that does not know her worth she doesn't know how beautiful she is. She's trying to hide pain instead of accept pain to receive her reward. She's not allowing growth in her life. Therefore, she's not getting what she deserves and she deserves to receive. She deserves to receive, but because she's doing all the work, she's doing all the giving, she's doing all the chasing, she's not receiving. You should be know your worth. Love yourself unconditionally. Put yourself first. And I don't think you have. I think you haven't. I don't think you have been putting yourself first. You've been letting yourself be controlled by other people, by circumstances, and by other people. And therefore, you're not receiving any reward. You're not receiving any reward for putting yourself first. You're not putting any, re you're not receiving any sort of reward for, you know, Letting the pain control your life. You have an opportunity to make, you know, you can make some compromises here. Maybe you got to make some compromises. Maybe you need to learn some new skills. Maybe if this is work related, maybe you got to work someplace else. Show people what you have to offer. There's a lack of there's a lack of uh, a love here, and it's a lack of self love. I'm sorry, but it is. It it absolutely is. We have somebody that that is watching this reading that is a Sagittarius that doesn't know what they what they are worth. They don't love themselves the way that they should. And they're pushing other people away. There's an opportunity for love here. There is, but this two of cups and this two of cups, there is. But the pain is so great. The pain is taking over. It is the truth. The pain is taking over. You need to focus on the positive, and somebody's not focusing on the positive. Sometimes things don't work out. You need to complete chapters because you've got something better for you. It's like somebody is throwing away an opportunity for love because they're chasing the wrong dream. This is dreams chasing. They're chasing the wrong dream. Hey, come on now. Or chasing the wrong person. Somebody who's emotionally unavailable. If you got a chase or chasing somebody who's emotionally unavailable. I mean, I, these cards can go so many different ways. I could go on and do this reading for hours and give you a bunch of different scenarios with just these cards. There's an opportunity to work together with somebody new. 
but you're gonna have to allow it. You're gonna have to if you got if you gotta end something that you're no longer committed to. You're gonna have to face the pain. You gotta deal with the pain. There's a lack of receiving any sort of gifts or rewards from that you're supposed to receive because you don't want to. Maybe you have this fear of growing old alone. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You have love around. You do. You have a soulmate. You do. But if you're chasing the wrong one, well, you know, then you're going to deal with some pain. Just because you don't want to be alone. These Both these cards, I don't want to be alone. Now, I know there's a lot of law, a lot of strong Sagittarius's out there that are alone. Then you know that part isn't for you. We have a, a conflict here. Difficulty in communication. Perhaps you need to set some boundaries because you got somebody around who's stepping o stepping on your toes. They're not respecting your boundaries at all. And you're losing an opportunity for true love by focusing on the hurt again. Three of cups, three of cups, three of cups, all, all reversed. There's loss here that you can't let go of. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Because you have an opportunity for love that is, is not being seen. It's not being recognized or it's not being accepted when it should be. You have a new opportunity for love that is being like discarded or not seen or not recognized because you're playing with the wrong situation. That's what I see. So Sagittarius, it's about you making a decision this month in January. The overall right here. This, uh, make the, a different decision choice you need to choose a different direction new direction right here choose a new direction the world is big huge it will lead you right towards victory and this is the ultimate victory and success you've learned a big lesson yeah you've made a mistake you've made the wrong choice choose another option close that chapter start a new life so you have an opportunity to choose a new direction. You do. This month. You will be presented with a new option, a new opportunity. It's up to you. It's up to you to face your fears. Choose wisely. There's consequences. It's a card of consequences. If you can continue to stay where there's no receiving anything from wherever you're at, Three of cups reversed, but basically three times. If you stay where you're at and you're not gonna, you're you're not this person wherever wherever you're at, whether it's job or home, it's not gonna change. Okay, it's not going to change. You have to deal with some sort of pain. You do, you do. It's painful. It's painful to to accept what it is. It seems to me like you guys have a new opportunity. And in, you're missing it. You're missing this new opportunity. You are. It's like you're shutting down. You're shutting down emotionally. And I think it's because you've chased the wrong one. Never chase. Never. Especially if you are the woman. Do not. Women and I know this goes way back to the, to the traditional approach, okay, are not supposed to chase. But we got a, a new generation now, and people, the younger generation doesn't know. It takes a lot of years to become this empress. It does. This empress is an older woman who knows. She knows better. So if you're the woman watching this, perhaps you haven't become the empress yet. I don't know. If you're an older woman watching this and you're struggling, somebody's struggling big time, you don't know what you're worth. You haven't learned your lesson yet, but you're in the process of learning it. And you may not, you know, you may be a little pissed off. You may not like it. You may not like that you have to deal with this pain. You may not. You might not like what I'm saying. You might, you know, who wants to hear it? Nobody really does, right? They don't. 
whatever. And that's the problem. That's one of the problems here in this reading. I don't want to hear it. I only want to hear the good stuff. Well, if you only want to hear the good stuff, then you're living in fantasy land. And, well, there's consequences for living in fantasy land. There is. We have an opportunity for a major new beginning. One chapter, one phase, done, over. But it's your choice. You have to choose to complete that cycle of your life. And there's a completion here. Could be a divorce, could be a split. Okay? Could be. But you're going to have to face your fears and stop hiding the truth, you know, behind your fear of loneliness. We have an opportunity for love, but it's being missed. It is being missed. The opportunity for love is being missed or thrown away because somebody is not choosing the right option. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to get you one of these and see what comes up. Sagittarius. There's some pain that needs to be dealt with, but somebody don't want to deal with the pain. They may be hanging on for financial reasons, okay? They may. Financial reasons, but, you know, all it's going to do is get worse and worse and worse and worse. The pain's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger for hanging on for the wrong reasons. It's, it, 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 trust me. You have to make a different choice. I mean... Wherever you're at, it's like detrimental to your health. It is. It's piercing. Very painful to, to live there. Wherever you're at or whatever you're doing, it's painful. But you have an option to move. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Engagement. Commit. Commit to love. True love. Commit to what you deserve. Focus on love instead of money. I'm not saying that you're all focused on money. I'm just telling you what I see. I, have a, I see a major new beginning here where your life could change, where love becomes real. But in order to get this, you're going to have to face your fears and you're going to have to accept pain, you know. So this is what I have. Um, you're missing an opportunity in love. Because it looks to me like you're holding on to something that is painful. I mean, you're holding on to something that is going nowhere. It's going nowhere. And it, you may be just holding on for the money. So, yeah, I think that's what I see. I see, like, you have an opportunity to head in a new direction towards a partnership that's more fulfilling. But you're missing the opportunity because you got to take action. That's what I see. The choice is yours. It's about making the choice. So make that choice. Make that choice to complete the cycle of pain. Leave it behind. Leave it behind. When you love yourself to this point and you become the empress, the right opportunities will come and get you. Trust me, they will. But if you chase the wrong ones, you know, especially if they're running then you're in trouble. Good luck. 